Hi, everybody. So I just want to talk about what a shadow is. Everybody's talking about shadow work, including myself. And people are kind of confused, some people are, about what a shadow actually is. So I'm going to go into that for you guys right now. Okay, so my husband's outside with the tracker. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. We're just going to continue on. So what is shadow? What is it? And how do you work with it? There's collective shadows. So these are collective pain. Um, anger, something that everybody has a belief about. This could be an old agreement that was collectively made that is no longer serving. So we have just gone through a huge collective shadow, probably the biggest one I've seen, which had to do with creation energy, womb energy. So through the divine feminine. And this shadow was an agreement that was made that created the 3D, at least the human's experience in the 3D. So we are breaking that agreement. And it pushed a lot of individuals' shadows to the top to be dealt with. A lot of people went through some really intense things and some are still going through those so when a collective shadow is shifted then that opens up the things that so say the shadow was i'm going to think about that for just a second okay so let's just use the current shadow that we're dealing with so the current shadow has to do with trust it has to do with creation and it has to go do with going back to humanity's origin, which is a much higher vibration than what we've been experiencing. So a lot of things have happened that have caused humanity to be squished down. And one of them that we agreed on was to let the feminine be suppressed by the masculine which caused division everywhere, which caused abandonment, which caused all of these feelings. And then we agreed to have a veil as well. And this is so we could experience really difficult learning for acceleration. So what did that do in your life? I know that I had a few abandonment things pop up, not for my soul, but for my inner child, because we have two consciousnesses. So you have a soul and you have an inner child. Your inner child is the human consciousness and you have the soul, which is the guide. So if you're looking at an NPC, maybe they only have the human consciousness and that human consciousness is not necessarily being healed because there's no soul as a guide. So, you know, they would have enough consciousness to run the body. They would have enough consciousness to create, but they would be unaware of what they were really doing. So think about it in terms like that. So I had a shadow, an abandonment shadow, which popped up and I had to work that through with my inner child because it was my inner child's abandonment. My soul has already worked through their abandonment. So that was a big shadow that a lot of us had worked through already if their soul had not. So if someone's soul had not worked through that yet, then that would be a huge shadow to heal because the soul is so much older than the consciousness of humanity, mostly. Because humanity was a creation that was, it's not that old. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps understand the shadow. The shadow is an idea. It's a belief. 
that you're not good enough, that there's worthiness issues, that someone doesn't love you. Those shadows need to be healed. And on a soul level, they're parallels. So you may have a shadow, a version of you in a parallel that is <clears throat> not really doing well. Or maybe not being nice, one or the other. So if you have this shadow, then that shadow may be bothering you, poking at you, asking to go home. Because we're in this reality and we can actually affect our parallels. So the most awake version of you that's in a version of this game is the one who is taking over responsibility for healing these shadows. And really, this is about our soul's journey and our human consciousness journey together, partnered up to go through ascension. So when you have a shadow, it's something that is causing you pain. And it may be causing you pain on an inner child level, which is your human consciousness, or the soul level, which is much broader at this point. So I hope that that helps. I have lots of programs that help with this. The Journey to You in particular, Healing with Honey, I definitely have things for the shadow there. But I wanted to explain this to everyone because it's so important that you realize most of the time you're not being attacked. It's coming from a piece of you, a part of you. And if it's not, then it could be coming from a part of your family, your soul family, your genetic line, you know, all those things that we think are being caused by something outside of us are usually being caused by something that we're connected to within us. So that's why we shadow heal. That's why we work with the shadow and why we heal it. Because it's been a massive tool for learning, but we're not going to learn that way anymore. We're going to learn with awareness instead of lack of awareness. We're not, we're going to learn by being instead of by polarity. So if you need help with a shadow, there's a lot of people doing that. And I'm also doing that. So, but really just self-reflection will get you started. And I think that that's really important. Being aware of yourself, stepping outside of your own life and looking at it and saying, what is this really? Disengage the nervous system for five minutes and you'll be able to figure it out. Okay. All right. I'm sending you guys so much love. I'll talk to you later. Bye.